Hey everyone, welcome back to Imagination Tech and today we are going to be taking a look at the Helio Spring All-in-One Flight Controller. And this is a very unique flight controller because it has both an F4 and an F3 on it. And the F4 is, is used as the main flight controller while it has a sub uh, a sub processor with an F3 chip which handles just gyro filtering from its gyros. All right, so let's take a closer look at what's inside. So let's go ahead and open our Helio Spring AIO flight controller. Right, so just like most anything else these days, it is easily opened from its packaging. And this one has relatively sparse contents. It has these four um, mounting gummies or soft mounts and of course we have our spring aio flight controller or all-in-one so let's just open that up as well and it really packs a lot on the, onto this uh on this flight controller it has two um two pro processors one is the the a4 the f4 uh which is the main flight controller processor and also has a sub f3 uh, co-processor which handles all of the gyro filtering and we take if we take a look it has uh this is for the uh, battery pads and you have all of all of your motor pads here for uh, for each of your motors for your e ESCs I, I mean and uh, they it also has uh, several pads you have uh, for your camera control for your VTX in and out and that, that will go well if uh, for your uh, OSD it supports both butterfly and beta flight OSDs and it has a lot of stuff in here it supports um, it supports both 5 volt and 3 volt um, receivers it has telemetry uh, filtering for. Uh, it also has a smart audio. If so, if you have a VTX with uh, that, that can support smart audio, and yeah, I mentioned uh, it has a camera control and also has two amp or th and three amp regulators as well somewhere over there. So yeah, so lo let us go ahead and we shall. Oh, oh it also has a, um, cur a current sensor up to two hundred amps. So let's just go ahead and we shall be uh, plugging this into Sierra. First thing I like to do with a new flight controller is to plug it in and run the configurator. In this case, that will be Butterflight and I will put the link where you can download it in the description. Click on connect and check the virtual quad is moving when you move the flight controller and just quickly go through the tabs and take a look around. And you might also want to go through the CLI tab and type in version to see what firmware is loaded by default. In this case, that would be Butterflight 3.3.0. Now that I'm confident that the flight controller is more or less not a dud and working normally, I would then go and flash the firmware on it. So we just click disconnect and then go to firmware flasher. We then choose Helio Spring from the drop down menu and then choose which firmware version you'd like to update to. Click on load firmware and then just hit flash. Once that's done, we can now go back in and put in our settings by clicking connect. Again, I just want to check that the virtual quad is moving normally just to be sure. From the ports tab, I would then check to make sure that UART2 is set to serial RX because that's where the receiver is going to be hooked up to. Going into the configuration tab, since I want Sierra to be props out, I would tick motor direction is reversed. I then put in the craft name and also make sure that I can arm my quad at any orientation by setting the arm angle to 180. Going into the PID tuning tab, I leave the values at their defaults for now, but I like to put in my rates and expo in and start from there. In the receiver tab, since I have my XM Plus transmitting the RSSI on channel 16, I would set this to AUX12, not, not AUX4 as I did here, I haven't had enough coffee yet. And lastly, go into the modes tab and set your ARM, flight modes, beeper, and also turtle mode if you have an ESC with D-Shot protocol. And that's gonna be it for Butterfly, at, at least for now. So this is share where we're going to put our new uh, Helio Spring AIO and I've already removed the the flight controller which is a very old F3 uh, flight controller with very basic features so I needed uh, I needed this PDB it, it, it had to work with this PDB to provide the 5 volt outputs and uh, you know um, and it also provided this um, this neat uh, XT60 connector which 
um, which was very nice because at least you could pl I could plug in my battery from the side and it was it was very secure. So we could remove this uh, PDB, uh, but we would need to solder a pigtail onto our uh, onto our Helio Spring AIO, which is which is not really a problem because uh, this is a very full featured flight controller. So we don't we don't need this PDB anymore. We can just remove it. So that's what we're going to do right now. So now we've finished pre-tinning all of the all of the pads that we need. Um, there are some more uh, pins here, like the for LED, but uh, we can always um, we can always solder to that later on. Uh, for now, we will just now stick uh, these soft mounts. That's just perfect. So let me just do this on all of all four um, mounting holes, and we'll just put this in our quad. Now that we've pre-tinned our pads, we can now solder all of our ESCs, camera, VTX, and our receiver and buzzer onto our Helio Spring AIO. And now we just need to solder on a pigtail. Since uh, we had our connector here at the side before, um, I'm thinking I want I might want to also have uh, the pigtail right here at the side. So I will just uh, trim this pigtail, this XT60 connector of ours. Trim this to probably this would be probably the right size. Hey guys, so I'm back here out in the field and I have Sierra here with me with her new A Helio Spring AIO flight controller. So let's just go ahead and fly this thing and see how it flies with the default butterfly settings. So right off the bat, you can hear the weird motor oscillations, but once it's up in the air, it performs very, very smoothly, especially in the lowest and the mids. And uh, on the punch outs though, you can see that there's some weird pitching and rolling. It, it rolls to the right and pitches to the to, uh, pitches forward as well and here I'm pumping the throttle and you can see that it's rolling uh, rolling sideways and that's something that needs to be tuned out so um, yeah um, I also the motors also got quite hot uh, after after landing so definitely uh, the stock uh, the stock pins on on butterfly 3.6.2 need to be tuned down a little bit here I eventually I lowered the piece to around 40 I also lowered the eyes to around 30, so that works on this setup, but uh, you're going to have to tune your quad and your uh, butterfly on your Helio Spring, uh, depending on how you fly and depending, how, uh, depending on your quad as well. So each quad is different, so definitely the pins are going to be different as well. But here, um, even on the, on the default pins, the, the pins are very, very snappy, but uh, it might have been a little bit too snappy. So that was something that I had to tune. So after tuning my quad a little bit more, lowering the piece and the eyes, the weird motor vibrate, motor oscillations right after arming and before taking taking off, uh, they were no longer there, and the motors weren't weren't coming down hot anymore. They were they were just uh, a little bit warm, but that's normal. And yeah, there is a little bit of uh, prop wash, but uh, that, that's just a little bit, and you can just hear it in the audio, but you, you can't really see it in the audio, in the footage. At least at least I can't. And uh, yeah, the, the, the flight performance was really great, it was really smooth and uh, I really enjoyed flying this, uh, this quad with the Helio Spring all-in-one flight controller in it. And uh, the, the snap rolls that I'm doing here are really, really snappy, so I'm really quite impressed as well. But I'm still going to be continuing to tune this quad in the next couple of days, so uh, I'm not, I haven't mastered the art of tuning yet, but uh, for me, right now, this, uh, this quad flies great. And uh, maybe this, maybe uh, I'll have someone else take a look at the at the tuning. Maybe maybe something else can be improved. But for now, yeah, I, I'm really enjoying how this thing flies. So I do hope that you enjoyed this video about the Helio Spring All-in-One Flight Controller. And if you did, please click on the like button because that helps a lot. And also consider subscribing to the channel, right? So um, as always, keep building and keep flying. And I will see you in the next video.